Hi, I'm Christina Griffin. I'm the co-chair of the Volunteer Council, and I'm here with Christian Lang. Hi, Christian. How Hi. are you today? I'm great. I'm Christian Lang, the founder and CEO of Lega, which is an ILTA business partner. Great. Um, so, Christian, tell us a little bit about your ILTA journey. So, ILTA is actually primarily responsible for my journey into legal technology. I'm a former practitioner at a large law firm. And I left to start a legal tech company, but funny enough, I had no idea that the legal tech community really existed before I left. And then I started to meet all these wonderful people, and they were telling me about this broader community. And so my first major event I ever went to in the legal tech space was an ILTACON event back in, I think it was probably 2016. Wow. And I stumbled across this incredible community of people from lots of different parts, very passionate about this thing I was passionate about. And it really put me on that journey. And I, I was lucky enough to join as a member of the press for several years, running a little podcast and, and some blogging, um, ultimately became a business partner with a couple of different entities and was recognized as a young professional watch a couple of years ago in ILTA. And, and I've been lucky enough to be on a few kind of panels and, and other discussions to help try to give back and contribute. That's great. Um, our business partner community is so important to ILTA and, and how we run as an organization. Mm -hmm. So how has ILTA helped you as a business partner? It's incredibly important, I mean, I'm sure this is true of lots of industries, but the legal industry is a very interesting animal. Um, there's not, it's not just law firms, but let's just use law firms as an example. Kind of understanding how firms operate and all the different constituencies there from the outside. I mean, I was lucky enough to have a little insight around that from the practice days. But from the outside, it's actually quite hard to approach law firms and understand how that works. And then you come to a community like ILTA and you actually can access people who are involved in practice technology or people who are involved in the security side or the, the trainers that help drive adoption on technologies internally and start to understand all the various facets that go in to driving kind of successful technology change. And I think without this sort of community and the resources that it brings and the events like ILTACON where you can come together mm -hmm. and build relationships with those people, it would be almost impossible to get a a, a, a technology company off the ground in this weird, fun little space that we love so much that's legal. So it's, it's really, really important. Yeah, le legal is a special place for sure. I've, I've learned that uh, definitely. So as um, the Volunteer Council um, co-chair, uh, we're interested in developing our volunteers and really getting more people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. So how would you encourage someone and why would you encourage someone to volunteer? Well, I think it's important. I mean, I'm incredibly excited about what's happening in legal technology. I really think we're kind of entering the, what is the golden age of legal tech. There's so many new technologies come, that people are excited about. We're finding great applications for them. This community is a great way to kind of stay abreast of that, but it's a volunteer-driven community. So the, the, the programming and the resources all kind of reflect what we bring to the table. And in order for this community to be as nimble and responsive to that change as it needs to be, we need people from all different corners of this fun little space to chip in, put their hands up and say, let me share with you what I know. I mean, that's what keeps it dynamic. That's what keeps it responsive and, and keeps it moving. Um, and then I personally, um, both participating as speakers but also in volunteer opportunities, that lets you build relationships in kind of a slightly different way. Like as a business partner in an expo hall, you meet lots of people, but you're mm -hmm. on the opposite side of a table trying to sell somebody something. Right. But then you can go and have an opportunity to meet some of the same people, but as a peer trying to on the same side of the table, do something together. It just it adds a whole other dimension to the relationship, mm -hmm. uh, and it allows you to kind of give back. I, I'm huge. I think community building is incredibly important, and um, I think you know ILTA does a great job of that. But we need as many hands as we can get in this new and exciting time. So, yes. so that's why I try to do it, and that's why I think everyone should definitely get involved. What about you? What's been your experience? You're obviously incredibly involved in the volunteer um, organization of ILTA. What? What, why are you passionate about that, and why do you try to tell people to get involved in the volunteer? Yeah, uh, when I came into legal six years ago, you know, I was I was looking to find my my home and my people, um, and somebody suggested actually Joy Heath Rush. I met her at an event that I happened to be at, and uh, she suggested I volunteer for something. So I volunteered for the conference committee for a couple years, and then. Uh, when they released these roles, um, I thought, what better opportunity than to 
um, volunteer for the volunteer council, which is really going to have an influence on who we get as volunteers, encouraging people to volunteer, making sure ILTA is a well-run volunteer organization, making sure we have, you know, handbooks and documentation and everything for so people really know how to volunteer. Um, and it's been a great experience so far. I've been in the role for just about a year now. Um, and we, have, we just have so much to do, and it's such an exciting time to be a volunteer here at ILTA. You know, my most recent volunteering opportunity, it's funny, I didn't even kind of realize it was a volunteering opportunity at the time because it was such a small bite-sized thing. Mm -hmm. We were having, I think ILTA was doing a strategic review of where it wanted to go and how it wanted to operate. And I was able to join this fascinating discussion with a bunch of other interesting people. I think there were a lot of business partners in that discussion talking, comparing notes about what was valuable. You know, and 45 minutes later, I had a bunch of new friends had been able to kind of contribute to the community, and that was and that was it, and that was a volunteering opportunity. So, I think it's nice to have the opportunities to go deep and make it a big part of your life, but also the little bite-sized opportunities that you can do and knock it out in a half an hour, an hour, and give back. I think is really, really and that's incredible. huge, right? Because ILTA is full of volunteering opportunities, such something as little as 45 minutes to an hour of your time, maybe once over the course of a year to you know a couple hours per week um, and one of the most exciting volunteer opportunities is we're here at Ilkticon 2023 mm -hmm. which is our second largest event to date and it's made possible by the volunteers mm -hmm. um, that spend a lot of time putting all these fabulous sessions together um, so as much as we can encourage people you know to to step into the role something small like an hour or something a couple hour, uh, hours a week is great yeah um, Speaking of Ilticon, favorite session so far? We're only halfway through the week, but um, have you had anything that you're like, oh, wow, this was great? Well, I think, you know, so uh, my venture is kind of in the generative AI space, and there's so much curiosity about yep. that. There have been a couple of great discussions, including one this morning that is kind of a nice little primer to help get people up to speed on what that is and how that works, um, which, is, which is really helpful. There's a lot of noise and a lot of people who are talking a lot and don't actually know a lot, so it, it's fun to have some actual experts on the ground who can say, all right, here's what you need to know, first, second, third, just to kind of get started and get moving. So I, I think that dialogue, I had a lot of people come up to me and say how valuable they thought that particular session was. Um, so I'd probably name that one. Okay, I think I wanted to make it to that one, but didn't yeah. get over to the right building in time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So Christian, I really appreciate your time today. I, Christian and I have uh, emailed lots of times, but it was really an honor to get to meet you in person and spend some time with you. And that's um, what's so fun, is yeah, you actually get right. to have a personal relationship exactly. as opposed to that, a face you know, on a Zoom Over screen. email or over phone for so many years, and now I get to spend some time with you in person. Perfect. So thank you for your time. This Thanks was really great. My pleasure, thank you.